If you've ever wanted to know how to place text behind people, images, or objects in a YouTube thumbnail, this Canva tutorial is for you. We're going to start off on Canva's homepage and we're going to search for YouTube thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail. And click create a blank YouTube thumbnail. For this one, I've already selected my image and I'm going to use this cruise ship image. Search white cruise ship on the sea in the elements tab and it should be up there near the top. You can even select the photos tab if you need to narrow it down that way. The first thing you need to do is duplicate it. The trick that I like to use is to do everything at this level first, at this size, before you make it large enough to fit your thumbnail. So what we're going to do is click this top image and go to edit image. We're going to click background remover, which is going to remove the background of this image in one click. Did you know that I recently taught this technique in a live stream where everyone learned seven different ways to use the Canva Pro background removal tool? If you are interested in that live stream, let me know that you want the image effects live stream link in the comments below. After this processes, you're going to click apply. And then we're going to do a little image manipulation. That sounds fancier than it really is. All that means is that we're going to slide in this line right here and this line right here so that we've got an image here without a background right on top of the image with the background. And the reason why it's important to move in the lines is because if you don't, it's not going to set up right. This image without the background might actually take over the background instead. What we're going to do is select all of this and then we're going to enlarge this. I'm actually going to left click and bring both of these to the corner. And then I'm going to take this little white circle and left click and drag it all the way to cover up the white space. At this point, you can still left click both images at the same time, position them however you like. And I'm going to click out of this twice. The first time deselects them and then I'm going to select the background and the second time sets the background so it does not move. This is not on the background. It's not attached to anything and you can move it. We want to make sure that it is directly on top of the image behind it. So what we might need to do is enlarge this image. This is a tip is to use a slider to enlarge the image so that you can make sure that it is directly on top. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to take the zoom back out to whatever you want. I'm going to go with 87 right here. And then I'm going to click out to remove those purple lines. If you are finding value in today's Canva tutorial, make sure that you hit the like button because that lets me know you want more lessons like this one. What we're going to do now is add our text. There's a couple different ways you can add text, including there's a text button over on the left hand side that you can add text. But I simply like to add text by clicking T on my keyboard and that will bring up the text. For this one, I'm just going to be simple and basic and I'm going to type in the word cruise. You can change anything about the text that you like by using the text panel at the top. But for the size, I actually prefer to take these little white dots and drag them out so that it sizes that way. So now what I want to do is make all of this uppercase. Instead of typing it all again in uppercase, all I need to do is go up here and click this icon. It makes everything uppercase. So we're going to take this, 
right click, send backwards. I want to make it stand out even more. I'm going to click the text box and I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to just slide this one over here to the side and we're going to give this one a text effect. Go up here to the word effects and you can use anything you want, but for this particular one, I'm going to use the lift text effect and you can increase the intensity by going to 100 if you like. An alternative way to do that would be to use the shadow effect and choose a color, right? That looks really nice too. If you change the blur and the transparency, look at this. So you can change the color back there too. That's, that's a little much. It's a lift without the lift. You can even change the offset. So it's sort of a lift where you can use different colors. I personally prefer the black. We're just going to go with the lift effect with the intensity of 100. What we're going to do is put this one right on top. And we're going to add it's a splice effect essentially, but because you can't add two effects at once, we're going to do that with the duplicate text option. Click effects. We're going to click hollow. And this is actually an effect you see in a lot of professional advertisements where you can see a little bit of the image through the letters. And if we change the thickness, it looks even more professional. We've adjusted the thickness to 13 and now we're going to change the color of the outline so you can make it any color you want but I'm just going to do the black and click out of it and look here's that awesome effect you can either leave the hollow on the outside of it or you can send it backwards so that the whole thing is in the back there we go we're going to group these and position them in the center you're probably wondering more ways to use this cool tool. You're going to want to check out the Canva tutorial that's on your screen right now. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!